Over 1,400 additional speeding tickets have been written since November of last year as part of a program we've told you about. It's called Slow Down Colorado Springs. News by Colette Bordelon in studio tonight. And Colette, Springs police hope this will make our roads safer, but they say it's only part of the solution here. Well, their goal is getting drivers to consider what speeding actually means. Instead of making it to work a few minutes early, speeding could cost you lots of money or even worse, a life. Christian Magoon moved here from Chicago, but that doesn't mean the traffic pump the brakes. I actually think it's a lot more stressful driving on 25 than even driving downtown to Chicago. When we told Magoon the Colorado Springs Police Department has written an additional 1400 speeding tickets since November, he wasn't surprised. I've been on I-25 where there's been some major backups due to fatalities and pretty serious crashes. So I think people do need to slow down a little bit. In the shadow of Pikes Peak, Lieutenant John Koch says 2018 was a deadly year for our roads. It was the highest number of traffic fatalities we've ever had in this city. Speed is one of the leading contributors to serious injury or fatal collisions. Which is why CDOT gave a grant to Springs PD so they can have extra officers on the streets focused on speeding in addition to those already on patrol. Unfortunately, we're finding people that in 30 and 40 miles an hour, 30 and 40 mile per hour zones are going 70, 75 miles per hour as part of this deployment. The risks that you're taking are pretty large, not only for you, but for the other people on the road. A tip Magoon wants everyone to remember before hitting the road. Slow Down Colorado Springs is a three-year program, and every few months, officers will focus on different intersections. CDOT gave $65,000 for this first year, which runs through October. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.